Welcome to Softcore History. What is up? Welcome back to Softcore History. I am your host for the week, Rob Fox. I am joined, as always, by Jake Goldman and Dan Register. How are you doing today, boys? Great. I'm doing just great. Great. I'd be even greater if you checked out our Patreon at patreon.com slash softcore history. Just getting right into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please. Please and thank you. Softcorehistory.com for merch. We'll just get the, uh, the pleasantries out of the way. Yeah. Leave a review. Five stars on Apple and Spotify. Yeah. Cool. We always appreciate that. And we look, we love it when you pay to play. Yeah, for sure. We we'll do it for certainly do. We'll do it for slash software history. And yeah, I'm ready to just fucking get into it, man. I'm just I'm hyped. Let's I'm well rested this week. I, I didn't do a damn thing this weekend. It's great. You're ready to learn. I You're am. primed for learning, so am I. I'm gonna learn today, boy. Let's go. I'm amped up for reasons I legally can't talk about on air right now. So let's <laughs> just get into this. Let's just get into this outline. Let's do it. Um so it's actually good we're just giving the pleasantries because this is uh, a little bit longer than my normal outline. So my normal outline runs like five pages, it's about eight. So we'll get into it. So we have an episode of this podcast. Uh, one of my favorites, actually, because it's, it's A, it's ancient history, and B, it's kind of like a grab bag. It's the uh, ancient Egypt was anti-work. Yes. If you remember that one. Um, not going to do a whole, like, previously on the softcore history, but we can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just insert it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, if you and go, yeah. If you remember from that episode, uh, stuff that was included, it was just like a bunch of stuff about Egyptians and their kind of daily work lives and stuff. And one of them just was how mundane everything was. How mundane yeah. it was. How like shit don't really change. The record taking was they, though too very. And it was a lot. One of the main parts was all the stuff they would take off work for. Yeah. And one of the funniest ones was that they, the men would take off work if their daughters or wives were menstruating. Yeah, when they were on their period, I remember that. Which when, <laughs> meant that their employers had a detailed record of the women in their home's menstruation cycles. Yeah. No, they could make an app out of that like, shit. Yeah. It's like, ah, Ahmed, your wife and daughter have synced up finally. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> they were essentially those apps that girls have nowadays. Yeah. 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 Just like, oh, I'm due now. And you couldn't lie about it, right? Because they'd be like, no, 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 no. She had her period two the weeks 14th, ago. The 14th, bro. Yeah. I know. You were out last month around the 14th. What's going yeah, on? That's what this hawk means on here. Yeah. All right? I drew a hawk to remind me that your daughter had her period two <laughs> weeks ago. And this is a little cat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wet cat, actually. It's a, isn't it? That's yeah. the hieroglyph. It's a wet it's, cat. It's like, Bleh. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, we're um, kind of going back. To uh, Egypt being going to run it back anti work today because a helpful listener who um, his, his, he didn't have his name on his Twitter but he tweet, we tweet all the time but I forget his, his, his he didn't have like his human name it's on his not Twitter. important it's I not. don't care about this man uh, he thanks for the idea but like I don't care about you I'm sorry we care I care I care I Only care if about he pays you five dollars on Patreon I think he does I history. think he does oh actually. then I definitely care and I love him yeah yeah you were the best <laughs> I don't he does he's an anonymous anonymous Twitter. yeah so it is what it is but thanks bro uh, but. A helpful listener pointed me to this uh, great Twitter thread about the world's first ever recorded worker strike. Hmm. It was in ancient Egypt uh, during the reign of Ramesses. A union? Ramesses, yeah. They cut. Oh, did they have a giant blow up rat? What? Yeah. Like a giant blow up rat that they all circled around with their signs. Is that a thing that happened in Philly? All the way up north, yeah. Anytime like a union pickets, they, they have a giant blow up rat. <laughs> this is news to me. Yeah, that uh, that doesn't happen in the Midwest. Oh, that, that doesn't yo, click Rob, with you guys. Rob. Yeah, check behind you. What? That oh, big... that is a gnarly spider. Hold Holy on a second. Shit. And we're back. I killed the spider. Jesus fucking Christ! That thing was. We we're in um, the Texas Hill Country. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know, so scorpions and spiders. The wildlife gets a little gnarly from time to time here. Um, but yeah, so I don't. Yeah, I never saw anyone <laughs> inflate a rat at a strike. <laughs> yeah, what? Although the only strike I witnessed in my life was in uh, 2004, St. Louis. Uh, I was, like, in high school, and um, Schnooks is, like, the local grocery store there, and all, like, the bag boys went on strike. The bag boys went? Yeah, the bag boys <laughs> went on strike. Which just, was, there was just shopping carts everywhere. It was yeah, chaos. It was a nightmare. No one said have a great day when they got their groceries put in. No one got their groceries put in their car. Because I, everyone is a piece of shit and doesn't return their cart. I, that, that is the biggest indicator of whether or not a person is good or evil. I always find the cart corral, personally. I have to. You have to. Yeah. It's just, I'm not making it work for people. That's the last thing like, I Like, I'm not do. changing a lot in this life. 
but I can put my shopping cart back. You can change one way, parking lot. Hold on, here's a theory, really quick. Does putting your shopping cart back, if everyone, everyone put their shopping cart back, would that nationally lower the price of groceries? If they need to hire less workers. To go get the carts and right. corral them? That's not how this works. No. No, the prices would stay the same. They'd actually go up. Yeah. More profit, baby. Yeah. Now it's like, well, we just got rid of some overhead. Let's get some more profit on Let's top of that. Let's go. This yeah. Apple's $4, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you think the public CEO's not taking his bonus? Come on. Come on. I heard, you know, Reed was telling me how Publix is just, their prices are outrageous right now. I believe it. And he worked for them. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Uh, it's where shopping is a pleasure, is. but not for your pocket. HEB is pretty solid, though. Prices talking about, are pretty fair. Talking about grocery prices. Yeah. Or, Needs a little, running a little high these days, but. You know, there's no price for gains. No price too high for gains. There's not. Yeah. You know, and I'll pay it every time. Yeah. I get that. Uh, but yeah, so they went on strike. Um, it was during the reign of Ramses III. Uh, it was about building his tomb, uh, not a pyramid, but just, like, I don't think, but just like a dope tomb. Um, and that's a fun fact. That's awesome. And I was going to do an episode about it. Uh, so naturally, I started reading about it. And um, what does our podcast description say? Uh, penetrating into the past. That, well, it, yeah, it does say that. Yeah. Uh, so the casual it's pretty cringe. Uh, no, yeah, uh, yeah, but it's for the Wikipedia it. reader. Like you, you wrote that. Yeah, I want yeah. that on the record that Rob Fox wrote the description. Yes. I did, and I think you repeat two words. I'm not. I'm not fond of it. Um, I'll have to double check. You yeah. may have. You may have done that to me. I didn't do it. Um, but yeah. So one of the things is for uh, the Wikipedia reader is what this episode's for, right? It's a casual fan of history. So of course I dive down a Wikipedia rabbit hole on Ramses the Third, and I immediately realized that just talking about this strike really does Ramses the Third a disservice because this guy. Uh, did not have a fun time being Pharaoh. Actually, he kind like he he kind of did, but like against all odds. Like it, his administration or whatever you want to call it had every possible fucking problem any administration at any point in history could have had. Just across all offices. Yes. <laughs> okay. Just fucking nightmare after nightmare, and he was still doing pretty fucking good. So we're gonna talk. We're yeah, talking about the, we are gonna, because he is. You know, a fucking monarch, right? Like, no, 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 no. If not you're not him. having a good time as a monarchy, like, man, it's on you. I meant as a ruler. Yes, like, obviously, yeah. even the shittiest monarch as his kingdom is crumbling is still having sex with, like, nine wives and just going out and, you know, getting having drunk. Feasts. Yeah, yeah, having feasts and shit like that while the, while the plebes fucking starve. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't know. He actually did a pretty good job just from a ruling standpoint, considering the, like, 20 different angles he was getting fucked from at the same time. I mean, that's where that's where it's on him though too. Like he could have just not tried so hard yeah. and just like ruled, you know. Like, yeah. oh, Well, sucks to suck. I'm the king, emperor, emperor, pharaoh, king, pharaoh. God. Yeah. He's actually god. Yeah, he's god. He's, he's god. god king. Well, he's a god he's king. Like, well, sucks to suck. I'm god. Yeah. I didn't make that happen. You got a few fucking problem. Yeah, I'm God. I didn't make any of that happen. Uh, that, that any of that God stuff was the other gods. But I am also God, so he he was buying into the bid a little bit. Yeah, probably. I mean, they all fucking did. Yeah, I feel like some of them were like, I'm gonna say I'm God, but nah. Some are more believable than others. Like, how do you look at Tutankhamen? Have you seen like the 3D rendering? Oh of man, he looks rough. How do you look at that and you're like, oh, that's God? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> It's like, I'm hotter oh, than God? Yeah, wasn't Tut like a deformed child? He had a gait. He had some hip dysplasia that was pretty severe. Uh, because he comes from a long line of insane fuckers. He has uh, one, yeah. one branch family tree, yeah, you know? Like not yeah. even cousin fuckers. Like, sister fuckers. I just love that he goes on tour every year. Yeah. yeah. He's, still, he's still rocking in the free world. He's still going, man. They just keep moving him around. When's that thing going to fall apart? It hasn't already. It could have, but we'd never know. We would they never just replaced it. Yeah. Like props. They should do it, uh, Tut or any Egyptian mummy, like fuck having the whole thing. They should do it like the Catholics do saints. Just right? The fucking you send a toe here, a fucking head there. Little bone relic in a baseball card. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why not? I mean trading cards are kind of going off again. So Get you a, might as well kind of strike while the iron is hot. Yeah, that's the ultimate like <laughs> anyone. Anyone sitting in their 
rental apartment with like 500 baseball cards in their closet bitching about not owning a home should probably sell yeah. <laughs> yeah it's time to stop holding them yeah 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 now is the time to strike like i said because man are there <laughs> this is the highest it's ever going to get like yeah. Right. All the NFT people need a, something else to trade. Well, the difference yeah. between baseball cards and NFTs or sports cards and NFTs is that, like, there's at least a nostalgia for sports cards. There's, like, a, a sentimental... Uh, yeah, like a, sure. A social sentimental value for them. Whereas NFTs, it's like this monkey some asshole drew yesterday. Yes, but you can also physically hold a, a trading card. Yeah. yeah. Also that, yeah. And it's <laughs> yeah. the only one. It's got a number on it. Like, it's it's that one. It's just not the same if you yeah. turn on, like, it, like you, you have, like, a little man cave, and instead of, like, a Mickey Mantle card on the wall, you're like, hold on, hold on, I'll show you my NFT. You have to turn on a TV, and it's just a fucking screensaver, yeah. basically. Gold never goes out of style, really. Nah, man. No, including in, in this time. Um, so, yeah, I got sucked down this Wikipedia rabbit hole in Ramsey. So we're going to talk uh, about the strike, um, but you can't really understand why they went on strike without understanding all that shit I was talking about in the Ramsey's. Uh, was dealing with. I mean, it was everything. It wasn't just an invasion. Nobody wasn't... wanted to work. Well, eventually. But we'll get to that, because also, I, I don't blame them for striking. But it's kind of not... It was no one's fault? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in, in a way. Um, so, first and foremost... Classic he... Rob apologizing for somebody that's in power. I know. I'm a, I'm a boot, yeah. real bootlicker. I'm a He's status. A total You're soft licker. hands. Fucking status, soft hands, yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I mean, Look, I'm going with the king. The government keeps his cushy life afloat. And mine. Go Pharaoh. Pretty Let's much, go. right? Let's go Pharaoh. So I identify as a hard hands. You do? Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I still got calluses. Those are from lifting weights that you know. go to a special building to lift. Yeah, like you you do so little manual labor that you have to go do playtime manual labor. Yeah, you go pretend it. I still do manual labor. It is man. By definition, he's right. He's doing labor to move the weights around. Free labor? It's actually, he's paying to do labor. Yeah. You pay to do labor? Whoa, you love labor a lot. I love it. <laughs> Dude, he That's actually, real. it's real hard hands, actually, now that I think yeah. about it. Rough hands. Yeah, he loves labor so much he pays for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, think about that. I don't know how, but that sounds sometimes, like I'll that. I'll give you, like a, I'll give like you $5,000. Sometimes I'll just show up on a construction site and just kind of start hammering nails in. Yeah. I mean, that is the future of our sort of like what are the what are the lefties call it like post capitalism or late st late stage late capitalism stage, yeah, yeah that is like if it i mean it basically already happens right like people fucking cosplay as a refugee by doing tough mutter you know what i mean oh yeah totally <laughs> like, oh it's, it's, it's not even that but i'm saying like you could probably it'll get to the point with construction and everything where it's like i, I imagine there's gonna be an uber for construction it's, like you just sign up Oh, you show just, up to a work site. You lay some drywall, like. Oh no, man, we're I gonna think, be. I, yeah, I think it'll be. It won't even mean Uber because that implies you're still getting paid, right? It'll be more like, a, "Hey guys, we're doing this fun thing this weekend. Like, we thought it'd all be it'd be cool if we all just did a little construction." Yeah, Jimmy Carter's been doing that for like five decades. Now. Right. So you're gonna you're gonna like go do. Like, what is it? Protect Parks and Rec, Kaboom or Kabam? I don't remember. Where they that put one. together a, a park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah, this yeah. whole scam. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. On Parks and Rec. Yeah, yeah, right. That was really funny. But um, it'll be like a thing you do, like out of like it'll be like a leisure activity that you pay to do, like the way like Marie Antoinette had like a, a peasant village built at the, not the Louvre, um, Versailles. Yeah. Uh, so the Hermit her Village. Her, her and Hermit her village. friends yes. could go just like play and like chase geese and be like, it's fun to be poor. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll, or, it's the type of thing where it'll be like, it's hey, we're on my bachelor party, like we're gonna go be construction workers on Saturday. It's fun to be a uh, fucking blue collar. I mean, I Pennington yells, "Move that bus!" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, you see this all the time with these fucking. Um, they have construction parks now. They well, already have that. You can like pay to go do this. Sounds like hell. You can like, but it's more about the equipment, like. You can use a oh, jack that's dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, yeah. you go, like just drive around a backhoe. You're not even building anything though. You're, <laughs> you're just, just like making Wee! holes and shit. You're just a, yeah. uh, literally an overgrown child. Like they have the backhoe toys on uh, playgrounds. You know that like yeah. pick up sand and you move it. It's just it's, the adult version of that. It's just a backhoe. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. But I mean, people do that. Like they they pay like th tens of thousands of dollars to go get yelled at by Navy SEALs for a week. Yeah, there are some camps that do that. It's essentially a. <laughs> The, the baseball camps, but for people that like Tiger Woods would literally go to Navy SEAL camp and just fuck up his back for a week. It's fucking insane. 
Yeah. So anyway, that'll probably happen if it if it doesn't exist already. Now I do, but I do condone playing with uh, giant, giant equipment machines. that you would yeah. not otherwise get to play with. And fun fact: uh, all of those things have their keys in them, so you can play with those with those whenever you want. You don't have to pay for it. It's like a golf cart. They just leave well, the I mean, keys yeah. in. But yeah, it's like but it's like the, who who could who could possibly steal it? Like very few people. Yeah. Oh, you can't could steal figure it. Out. It's like if you park your airplane on the street. But if leave it's the keys already on a construction site, you can play with it. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but. Being tempted to try to take it, it's always there. It's there. It's the green light across I'm the bay. I'm surprised more people like they don't steal it, but they, why, they don't like. Why don't they like fucking it? Just climb the crane. Fucking a crane. Climb the crane or fucking like a two hundred feet up. up. A fucking. I think that's a special kind of woman. Fucking a bobcat. <laughs> All right, Peggy. Get in this Pe- fucking. Peggy cat- sounds like the name. Get in this caterpillar. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little wiggle worm. Peggy. Peggy sounds. Like Peggy is spot on. Yeah. I'm sp- uh, so anyway, Ramses the third, he came into power during what is known, you guys have probably heard of it, as the late Bronze Age collapse. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, felt well versed. Yes. So basically the entire Mediterranean uh, that had civilization, so more so the Eastern Mediterranean, Spain, Italy, um, obviously people live there, uh, and, and North Africa to the west of Libya, like people live there and stuff, but it's not really civilization. Um, but any civilization in e- the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, Turkey, everything, total fucking chaos. They all essentially just collapsed. I'm talking like a Great Depression, but they also like famine, a dark age, famine. What everything. what year around this would this be like? Late, uh, late it's thousands? like eleven fifty ish, yeah. something like that. Okay, eleven early thousands. Got it. Yeah, yeah eleven mid eleven hundreds. Got it. Okay. So BC, obviously. Um, so what happened is one of the main things that happened is, and we should do a full episode on this. Feels like a Jake episode, but I'm only going to touch on it a little bit. Uh, one of the main causes of the collapse, it, it, they think it's both a cause and a symptom, but the Sea Peoples. Ah, uh, yes, the Sea Peoples, the the people that we just know came from the sea, and that's about it. We don't know who the fuck they are. <laughs> But they just showed up one day and started murdering everything. I think they were way more about murder than any other kind of record keeping because there's, we just know they, they exist. They don't have records. Yeah, we don't know who they are, where they came from. Are yeah. They sure just showed they up. They weren't born in the sea. They just walked out of the sea like hey, fucking pirates of the Caribbean. I, yeah. I think uh, there's a theory that some of them are from Crete. Um, but is Crete the oldest in human civilization? Crete, Crete? no. One of the older. No, Greece, it's, right? It's old. It's, pretty, it's, it's old. Yeah, there it's was old as there shit. was civilization on Crete at this time. Yeah. Uh, actually, that would be. I know Turkey is kind of the, up there. Actually, on Crete was the Minoans, I believe, if I'm referencing my Age of Empires history correctly. Um, excellent archers in Age of Empires. Uh, the Minoans civilization, good navy too. So they mm. might have been the Sea People. They could have been, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, they came out of fucking nowhere. I, and the way they're talked about. Just to give you an idea, because saying sea peoples, I, I, I never know what to picture. In them, but reading about them last night in particular, this is sort of the uh, pitch you get. You know, like if you pitch uh, a TV show and it's like, you know, uh, like Arrested Development meets, you know, whatever the fuck. Like Arrested Development meets Cops. The elevator pitch. Yes. Right, 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 right. Well versed in getting turned down, yes. Yeah. Uh, so my elevator pitch is it's like if uh, the Vikings and the Mongols had a baby. <laughs> Which right? is a nightmare. And it could Vi- swim. It's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. And it could. And it had boats. Yeah. Yeah. So it's well, like oh, Viking, Viking ruthlessness yeah. with Mongolian scale. Yeah. And not full Mongolian scale because it's earlier in civilization. The numbers are less. But like essentially in like the Vikings didn't really occupy territory necessarily like they Iceland and stuff. But like and there were like some Viking kings in Ireland and, and England for a little bit. Like but they, they only like marginally occupied territory like the Mongols swept over vast swaths of territory. Right, the Vikings were there to just kind of hold you hostage. Right. Yeah. They were trying to get paid. Mongols were doing empire shit. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the sea peoples are somewhere in between that. Yeah. Somewhere in between those two things. Um, they hit everywhere, ancient Turkey, Greece, uh, Syria and Palestine, Egypt, uh, and more. They actually ushered in the Greek Dark Ages. Nice. So a lot of times Dark Ages means like people stopped writing stuff down as much it, or at all. Okay. Uh, so basically I think they just fucked up Greek civilization so bad that like there was no time to write because everyone was dead or needed food or you know, yeah. was getting Pee and chased. raped and pillaged <laughs> by sea people. Yeah, like it, there's On no the time run. to write anything down. You yeah. just, life is so terrible that you can't even it stop. It would have been the same thing every single day. Mm. Just, oh, died. 
Oh, starved. Oh, oh raped. Yep. Um, but yeah, so they hit Egypt too. So the thing is, unlike in all those other places, Ramses III beat the Sea Peoples. He nice. beat the shit out. Of them. He beat them back to the ocean. <laughs> Literally, kind of. It's kind of awesome. Um, so we know about this from what is called the Harris Papyrus. It's actually the longest roll of papyrus ever discovered. It is 44 yards long. Damn. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what headspace they were in. Just keep going. But, like, why they were just like, yeah. Keep rolling. Uh, this is how long the book is, and all books are one page. And then we roll it up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know how many pages that would be in a book, but it's long as fuck. 44 it's as yards. as long as if you stretch out all the veins in a human body. Uh, no, no, no. If you stretch out all the veins in a human body, we've talked about this before, that stretches to Alpha Centauri. <laughs> to the moon, actually. Alpha Centauri is quite a bit further. So I, I stand by Just mine. a bit. Just slightly. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's it's, a, like it's a, a, another galaxy or something? Yeah. It's the, I believe it's the closest to us. Yeah. Or in, yeah, I think Alpha Centauri, or maybe it's a star. I don't know. This isn't softcore astronomy. Yeah, it's not. And we'll never do that show. No. I'll fall asleep. I'll just get drunk and be like, fuck stars. It's like the worst just half-assed mailed-in star talk. Actually, you know what softcore astronomy is? It's astrology. It's astrology. Actually, it's way more compelling. It is way more compelling. Yeah. Yes. And we've done astrology on this show before. Shit. What are you, Rob? Well, I'm a Pisces, mm. obviously. Clearly. Yeah, makes sense. Very yeah. emotional, creative. Obviously I mean, the most creative one here. Dan's um, more... Me and Dan share the same sign, but Dan's more rooted in it than I am. What, Taurus? Yes. Stoic? Very stoic? Is that what yeah. that is? Stubborn. Stubborn? I'm more on the Gemini cusp. That's why I'm a flirty little jaunty wife, boy. That's why your wife's going to leave you. Because I'm a Gemini Yeah. cusp? Why is my wife leaving me? Can you tell me? That's why. Just the Gemini part? Yeah, yeah ask the stars, buddy. Go out there I do like blaming the moon for everything. That That's is, fun. Yeah. yeah, it helps. Yeah, Mercury's in retrograde. Not I guess. My fault. Yeah. I blame yeah. the moon for Sri Lanka. I know that. What? Just what's happening in Sri Lanka now? Or the existence of it? Uh, the tsunami. Did a tsunami happen? Well, like twenty years ago. Oh, oh. I wanted two thousand five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was a great movie with Spider Man. Tom Holland's in that movie. I, pff, no. And it's pre mole. I didn't know this till I saw it randomly on HBO one day. But he used to have a big mole on his chin. Hmm. And at some point, Kevin Feig, got it removed. Kevin Feig was like, "You gotta get cut that off, buddy." Well, you're not locking down Zendaya with that mole. No, not with that mole. It was jarring to the point where I was like, "Is this a prosthetic?" I had to Google him. <laughs> yeah, Rob's watching a movie, just totally taken out of it by someone's. And Tom's done a good job of scrubbing the internet of that image. Yeah, yeah. The amount of things I had to do, like, I know you like. It's not great to have young Tom Holland on your search history. And then you don't get the right. It's not young enough, so you have you to. You didn't go. say young. You said toddler, Tom Holland. Todd, yeah. he, no, he wasn't. He was like eleven. In utero, Tom Holland. Yeah. Adolescent Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Prepubescent Tom Holland. What's weird is I did see his ultrasound, and it was like just a little fetus coming off of that mole was the same size. This was the fetus growing off of the mole. Yeah, it was the host. Yeah. Do you remember when there was news sites that were releasing naked Tom Brady's child? What? No. What? <laughs> yeah. It's a weird one. They, they did not get charged for like pedophilia or anything. It's weird. What? What, what do you mean naked Tom Brady's yeah, kid? Yeah, you, you kind of just threw that in here and ran away. Uh, somebody, because uh, I think it was like Barstool or something. Like Portnoy posted a photo of like Tom Brady's son. Is like, look at the hog on him already. Oh, I do That's, remember that. It was like an infant, though, right? It was a child. That's you know, when you sexualize the image, that's when <laughs> it becomes wrong. Right. I do. Sounds like that's what for that. Yeah. I do get mad at my friends and acquaintances who post like bath pictures with the dick in it or the vagina in it of like they're like fucking one year old yeah I, please do not post that on social media that's just not cool to the kid honestly it's fucking cool yeah. to anyone that follows you man no yeah. man see that. that's it, just on most importantly though now. like if I like if pictures of me naked as a child were floating around on the internet like I'd be pretty upset I mean dude pictures of you in the tub from like you know tummy up was whatever for a boy or a girl at, at one but like yeah like who are these? And I, I've seen it so many times. Like people are just like, "Oh, this will be great to post to 800 people." Again, My pictures child? of Genitals. any children. Keep them off the internet. I know you hate all of that. Don't say that though, because then people who like the show are going to just send you pictures of my kid in your DMs. I don't need that. I know, but you're going to get it. Too late. Yeah, it's, it's, it's happening right now. now. Yeah. <sighs> I will block you. 
He, he will. He's not lying. Um, so, yeah, uh, this papyrus was, uh, of course, named for the archaeologist who discovered it, the Harris Papyrus. Uh, just kidding. It was named for a rich guy who bought it at auction. Hell yeah. And he was just like, this is mine now, and uh, I own it, and you shall call it the Harris Papyrus. That has nothing to do with me whatsoever, other than I fucking own it. No, it's, I mean, he owns it. Yeah. It's pretty sick. It, I mean, if it gets look, transferred, it, it'll be someone else's what, what, papyrus. What was Ram, Ramsey's doing? Like, he calls it Ramsey's tomb. He didn't build that. Harris, it's Harris's papyrus. He didn't write it. He paid it. for it. Yeah, he paid for it. They yep. both paid for it. In, yep. in the Named words it. of Obama, he didn't build that. You didn't build that. I didn't build that road, so he's right. You know, and a lot of stuff I didn't build. Everything. Like, if someone pointed to my house and was like, hey, is that your house? And I was like, and I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you didn't build that. I feel like that's, that's true. I, I, I financed it. But I didn't did not put a fucking lick of hard labor into it. Not even for leisure. There was a girl that I've dated in my past that when we went to your old house, they're like, "Do you think uh, Robin Courtney built this house?" I'm like, "No, sure didn't." It's like a thirty year old house. Yeah, it was built in like ninety nine. It's not a new build. No, no, you can tell. It'd be the worst new build possible. <laughs> and it was like a fine house, but like. You we, give us the time warp, yeah. Build that for us. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like a. I just like. I like to have a little age to it. So yeah. weather the brick and then uh, start use rotten wood on the back side. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. yeah, rotten wood that's out of code because they updated the code since the house was built. That'd be perfect if you could do that. It's like buying jeans these days. Salvage jeans. Yeah. yeah. Salvage denim. It'd be funny if you just like bought normal jeans and paid someone to just beat the shit out of them. That's a thing. That is a thing. You you keep saying things that you think aren't things that are actually Most things. Most things the, exist. What's, yeah. Yeah. What's the rule that Jesse has? It's like if you thought of it, like porn wise, it's like if you thought rule of it. Rule thirty four. Yeah. If you if you can think of it, it, it exists. exists. Yeah. It's that's like, but that's just reality at this point. Like yeah. we're we're at. There's we're too at the many. End. There's eight billion people. Like any yeah. crime you can think of, any Been sex or, sexual act you can think of. No such thing as creative IP. No. no. Steal. That's why I'm writing. Well, that's what they taught us in film school. Steal it. They're like, good artists borrow, great artists steal. Yes. I like that. That's why I'm writing a cool uh, uh, TV pilot about this Hawaiian girl who saves her island called Oana. It's good. Series? It's nice. Gonna, yeah, it's going to be great. No one's ever done it on television before. So, um, yeah, so the papyrus... It it says the following of the Sea Peoples. It just talks about the battles. Uh, Ramsey said, "As for those who reach my frontier, their seed is not." Ooh, that's good. They're not fucking anymore because they're dead. Uh, he said, "Their heart and their soul are finished forever and ever." As for those who came forward together on the seas, full flame was in front of them at the Nile mouths, while a stockade of lances surrounded them on the shore, prostrated on the beach, slain and made into heaps from head to tail. Uh, Ramses fought them in two major battles. The first, because I mean, the Sea Peoples were so numerous, they were hitting on multiple fronts. They were just hitting everywhere. Mm. I think it. I think it was like a Viking situation too, where it, it only was, took two battles. Yeah, that's quick. He made quick work of them peoples. Yeah, yeah. fucking did. Like yeah. legitimately, these people sound like the putty characters in Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, it's I like they fuck up everyone. Then the Power Rangers show up. Like everyone else was like, oh my god, no! And then yeah, not putty so people, five teens show up and. You you just blow on them and they disintegrate. Yeah, there's just one part you poke. They have a weakness. Yeah, it'd be funny if there was just like a guy who didn't know and he was just like pumping bullets into them until they were nothing. <laughs> I always thought that watching Power Rangers, I was like a a gun, one gun, a, any gun. Yeah. One of the Power Rangers had a gun, like a laser, right? Kimberly did, I think. Or this dude is just Steven Seagal. Anybody that ran towards him, he just kind of flipped with the wrist. Yeah, just. Yeah. A, like, no effort. Yeah, into a crocodile's mouth. Mm -hmm. And then they're done. Um, so the first one was the Battle of uh, Dijhe. Uh This was in modern-day Lebanon. So it was basically on the furthest sort of eastern border of the Egyptian Empire at that time. Ramses met them there. Uh, and unlike literally everyone else, he beat them. And beat the shit out of them. Uh, the uh, inscription on the papyrus says, The charioteers were warriors and all good officers, ready of hand. Their horses were quivering with every limb, ready to crush the foreign countries under their feet. So the horses were all just like... Jack, hard. Jack they were hard to fuck it. up. Yeah. To murder Even the horses people. were like, yeah, fuck, fuck this shit. Oh, I love Egypt. It sounds like he did what no one else did, which was meet them as they're de-boarding. 
<laughs> Sounds like he got them as so they were coming out of. In- this one was a land army already on land. land okay, army. they they just okay. showed up and, you know, Egypt was arguably I think at this time the most powerful empire in the world, certainly in the region. Um, so that it was the biggest test for the Sea People. I mean, the hit they, they basically tanked the Hittite Empire, I think, and the Hittites were legit, but a lot of them. I mean, Egypt was the number one, I, I would say, at okay. this time. Um, and yeah, man, chariots ain't nothing to fuck with. Mm. Uh, it can't really, like, again, like, I can't stay strong enough. Like, no one had beaten the sea people to this point. Not only, not only had no one beaten them, but, like, it, it, they were all blowouts. Like, just overrun. Nice. And the opposite happens. Uh, but they weren't done because there were that many sea people. Uh, the sea people were ready to invade Egypt proper. Uh, which was probably the richest area on Earth at that time. Pro- maybe Earth, certainly the region. Um, so the Sea People decided to hit Egypt right in the mouth, specifically the mouth of the Nile, uh, with their navy. So this is going to be a naval battle. Uh, as the name probably implies with Sea Peoples, they had a real good navy. Yeah, sure. But I, would imagine. I imagine nobody really like met them on their own turf. <laughs> what <laughs> no if they were just padding their stats? What do you mean? What if they weren't that good on on the water? Yeah, what? Right, they just that's all front. Yeah, they're, they're like, just oh, shit no, on the you water. Better not fight us. We're called the Sea Peoples. Better do them land. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna beat us in the ocean. Exactly. Just it's don't even try just it. Them trying to pump them, pump themselves up. I imagine you roll up with a bunch of boats so they're like, well, they have numbers. It's half of a navy. And really, like, but also naval battles back then they just rammed each other. I don't even know that rams were in place yet. Mm-hmm. Naval battles at this point are basically land battles. You're just on your boat, and you, like, shoot arrows at them? And then you board. board. Yeah. Mm. Pirate style. Yeah. And then you just try to murder as many people as you can. But you're not kamikaze in the boat? I don't know when the first ram went, when the first... uh, It doesn't matter. Yeah, but I don't... I I think this is before that, if I had to guess. Uh, I think it was a lot of arrows, and then, yeah, boarding action and stuff like that. And, you know, fire. Shoot fire arrows. Maybe hope you light the boat on fire a little bit. And they took turns, actually. People don't know this, but it's it's much like a video game where it's like, all right, you fire, we fire, you fire, it's we fire. It's a baseball fire. game, you know, bottom of the first. Oh, I use quick attack. I get to go twice in a row. <laughs> it's a <Yeah>. Pokemon. <laughs> or what, Final, isn't Final Fantasy turn-based? Yeah. Yeah. It's all about experience points. And the Sea People had hella XP, and they kept winning, so they got they more were, XP. They were just farming it, though. They were just grinding out in the ocean doing dumb tasks. No, they bought it. Oh, yeah, they bought it. They were just spending real cash in the game of life. Lame. XP is XP, baby. They didn't earn that. And, uh, they didn't build that? They didn't earn it. You didn't build that. Uh, so the Egyptians at the time, oddly, you know, I don't know. I always had the idea of them at all times being good sailors, but they weren't, actually. They, they had a pretty shitty navy. They were much more of a land power. Um, still, Ramses assembled his fleet, and they laid in ambush in the Nile Delta. Um he knew they'd try to hit Egypt proper, actually, while he was in Dijay. And uh, he had the country preparing for that attack while he was beating them and the other ones. This guy was, like, knows what the fuck is up, knows what's going on, and is like, we're, this is going to be not a two-front war exactly, but, like, they're, the army's here. I know they're going to try to take Egypt proper because we're rich as shit. Yeah. They're going to come in. So we got to prep that stuff, too. And he came up with this attack plan or, or defense plan or whatever. So Ramses lured this uh, seed people, uh, sea peoples into the Nile Delta where he had archers waiting on the shore. Uh, the archers made it absolutely fucking rain on the sea people boats. You, you got to think, man, when you're sailing up and it's like, oh, weird. The banks of this entire river are lined with archers. Seems bad. Maybe we shouldn't go down this river. And, like, a river... Sending your navy down any river, like, I know the Vikings did it, right? They sacked Paris. Yeah. Because they couldn't get in the walls. They are like, we'll just go up the river and fuck them. They had to go around a few things. Yeah, some islands and stuff. Yeah. But to get to Paris, they had to go around uh, some of the, the waterways because... They have, like, fortified islands? Well, they had a lot of chains that would block the boats. Oh, and, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But, like, still, even if there's no chains or anything like that, you're putting your navy... In one spot. In one narrow spot. Yeah, it's a choke not, point. It's a, yep. Like the whole river is a choke point. River, a river is a choke point. Yeah, you're you're condensing and elongating the formation that you can do. You can't spread out. It's just you can start at the front. You can start at the front and work your way back. And it or seems back to front. Like a very do. difficult thing to turn around in. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a river. Well, it also, it has a current. Like, I mean, everything yeah. has a current, I guess. And you know, you're but yeah. turning a boat's not easy. Not even now. Yeah. <laughs> so it turns like a boat is uh, common with SUV complaints. Oh, it turns like Any a gunboat. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, I think the fucking boat. Yeah. It's not a compliment. No, it is not. Um, I mean, I guess if they're turning around in the Nile, though, then they are going with the current to get out. So that's, you that's know, true. actually, but even harder, fleet, they're going right? up. They're going up river. Right, as right. they go they south. In, but again, yeah. not one boat trying to turn. An entire fleet <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to navigate the turns and not mash into each other. Yep, it's actually a really good point. They would go exponentially slower, I imagine, going into the Nile. Yes, yeah. so they come, they lose speed, oh. and they're just kind of fucking sitting ducks, this essentially. This is why they got wrecked. You could just light them up. Yeah. And they fucking did. Uh, so the archers just made it rain on the sea people. I mean, just fucking, you know, uh, yeah, like peppered them with arrows. Then the Egyptian Navy uh, came in and cut them off from behind. Oh, no. Yeah. The Egyptian fleet attacked using grappling hooks to haul the enemy ships either into them, and then there were also people on shore, I believe, with grappling hooks, hauling the boats to fucking shore. Uh, and brutal hand-to-hand fighting ensued both uh, on sea, or on river, I guess, and on land. Uh, The Egyptian fleet um, also pushed boats towards shore to get the archers closer, and the, also the Egyptian infantry that was waiting, able to able to board. So, I mean, just an absolute, like, the the Sea People's ships were overturned. A shit ton of them died and were captured, dragged ashore where they were executed. I mean, it was a also, slaughter. let's be real. These are essentially oversized canoes. I don't... They're not, like, giant vessels. I'm not sure how big they would be, to be honest with you. No, they're gonna, not big. It's okay. it's pre... It's in B.C., right? It's It's... Yeah. it's Late or I guess late I Bronze Age, which means yeah. like that's late 1100 right. BC, right? So, I mean, they you can have some sense of structure, I imagine. Like, you can have some s- serious boatage, but it's not like a fucking pirate ship. No, this is yeah. what I'm seeing from this article I just found. Eh. They're not that big. They're no, big. it's it's one floor, I imagine. Not, Maybe a hall. Oh, here's a good yeah. one. This is, yeah, yeah, no, no, no that's that's perfect. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. like no cabin. No, there's no, nothing. It's, so don't picture... I think a lot of people, when they picture ancient navies, they just immediately go to, like, ancient Roman triremes. You know, like, from Ben-Hur and shit like that, where there's a, bo- a below deck where slaves are rowing and shit. Yeah, no, no, this no. no. You're, you're in the fire yeah. at all times. It's fully a, fucking exposed. Yeah. It's a studio apartment. What you see <laughs> is what's there. You know, like, that's it. You don't need a tour. No. With, with a kitchenette, at best. Yeah. Not even a full kitchen. Um, and... Toilets over the side. Yeah, toilet. It's full bath. Yeah. Right? You just get in the ocean. Poop. Biggest, bath. biggest bathroom you could ask for. Yeah. yeah. Drink. If you need to. I right? That always blew my mind. And I, Look, I've never been lost at sea, um, being eaten alive by sharks, like the men of the USS Indianapolis, for example. But it always blows my mind when I read about people lost at sea at any point in time, but a lot of, you hear a lot in World, World War II stories. Uh, how the people are just like get so thirsty that they're like, "Fuck it, I'll drink the ocean." Yeah, it's it's like, well, it is water, and it's like, it has to be a mental thing that you can't get out. Like that level of thirst has to be unbeatable, basically, because like it's not like people that know you shouldn't drink salt water do it. Right. It's it's just which is everyone. Yeah, every, in human history. We got that down pretty early. Yeah. It's like once we crawled Don't out of that shit, we were salt. like, we're not going back. Don't drink. You can't drink it anymore. They're like, if you leave, you can't drink it. Yeah. Like, all right. Fine. We won't. We'll find non-salt water. We did. Although some people drink salt water nowadays for the uh, electrolytes. Oh, come on. Salt in water. I guess. Salt in water. water. Not salt water. Uh, like, it was just like uh, a guy like going insane in the Pacific <laughs> after his fucking it, ship got sank. And he's like, no, it's hydrating me. These yeah. electrolytes in this ocean. It was a, it was a biohack phase. For the last couple of years, well, smart water is still running with it. There, you still see electrolyte water. I mean, it's fine. It tastes good. I mean, it's water. It it's water. Typically, I feel like a little more hydrated off of it than I do off normal water. Whatever you need. What it's like, yeah. If it works for you, it works, yeah. man. What is it called? Placebo. It was a placebo. Placebo works. It literally works. That's the thing. Placebo works. If it if it works, is it wrong? No. It's like, it's like, what is it? If it's stupid and it works, is it stupid? No. Yeah. No, I, I casually dated this girl that drank warm salt water every day. For what? She have canker sores? I don't know. She was older. That is, can, she had canker sores. 
<laughs> she's not big. That's not canker sores are in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Not big. It's like an old person thing. Like my mom would always say, like I'm thinking, keep- I thought he said cankle. Yeah, no, I know. I was wondering what you like. Weight has nothing to do with the cancer sore, bro. I know. I was a little yeah. confused. She was like, "Well, maybe her diet, I guess, could yeah. be making her unhealthy." Yeah. Like she, if you have cancer sores, it's a, she eats a lot of like pure sugar and citric acid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know. It just ravages her lips. <laughs> just all day airheads. That's all this girl's <laughs> eating, man. Just tons of cankers. It's burning a hole in the roof of her mouth, dude. and she's packing it hard so it gets shorter but fatter. <laughs> the airheads. The airheads. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that shit. Just like you're packing dip. Yeah. Uh, but you're 11. Good lord. Got a cool airhead. That's grim. <laughs> um. So they the 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 sea people never recovered from this, from what I can tell. They Egypt absolutely fucked them up. And again, this is the strongest power in the region, which is probably the most advanced region in the world, along with maybe East China. Um, the Americas aren't there yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and they just fucked up probably to that point the most like aggressive enemy anyone's ever faced. Probably the most worthy adversary at this time. Yeah. yeah. It seems like they had the power of common sense. What, to just lay a trap for them instead of like shit? Hey, there's only one way in. <laughs> yeah, fuck them up. Let come them, on. Let them come. Yeah. Um, so... An interesting thing about the Sea Peoples, though, is that they were thought to be, like I said, as much a symptom of the Bronze Age collapse as a cause of it. And we'll get into that in terms of what that means. But um, in some of the uh, portrayals of them across civilizations, um, I don't remember what civilizations was from. It could have been from Egypt, but it could, it could be from Hittites or something else. Uh, they were portrayed as having women and children in ox carts with them. So, And I guess that means like that's not really slavey or prisonery, like a prisoner situation. So they may have been people looking for a new home because of other collapse factors. Yeah, they were just really bad manners. <laughs> <laughs> we want to live with you. It's like burning down cities. We can't grow anything where we were from. <laughs> yeah. Give us your crops. <laughs> okay. And we'll take your wives too. Yeah, it's essentially a hitchhiker that throws his pickaxe into your windshield before, <laughs> before you even stop. You? Yeah. No, it's just like he he gets he gets to the, the chase real quick. He yeah, cuts he's like, to he it. He didn't even ask. Yeah. Might have. I'm just trying to kill you, man. Just stick your thumb up, man. Oh. Okay. Next time. So uh when they travel to fight, it may not have just been armies. So it seems from what I can tell based on what happened next, that Ramses may have also um captured women and children. Um because what he did, what the evidence for that to me is what he did with the sea peoples he captured, the ones that didn't get f- their fucking heads cut off on the shore of the Nile. Um, he settled them hmm. in southern Canaan, and they may, these people in particular from that battle, I guess, uh, may have become who we know as the Philistines from the Old Testament. Oh, interesting. Ooh, the Jews' famous antagonist in the Old Testament. Yeah, they got theirs. So we're setting things up for dunking on these people for not having any work ethic. What the? No, no, no. The this, the sea peoples weren't the ones that strike. Okay. Um, or they're taking their jobs. <laughs> the well, Philistines took our jobs, so man. That's the interesting thing about resettling them, right? Like you would think with like anyone you captured, you just make them a slave, essentially. Yeah. Um, but he, what it seemed like, what Ramses did, was he took them and was like you're gonna go live here and you're you're gonna boost the economy there and pay me a shit ton of taxes and that's what because that's what i need yeah because the economy sucks ass right now because of the late bronze age mm. collapse thanks to you assholes in large uh, quite a bit part this happens quite often um i remember the vikings when they got to england they had settlements and stuff that they try to coexist this was this was like taking people prisoner though, and being like, "You just work for my economy now." Yeah, like you're gonna go be part of my economy. You can't really leave, but I don't own you necessarily either. Mm-hmm. You, I don't know what the rights situation is. But you and, might also fight in our armies. You might right, also, right, right. Yeah, but you're gonna go here, and I'm gonna collect what the tax revenue from the your fucking labor because we need it. Uh, I don't, very I don't, modern, very modern, actually. It's kind of smart. I mean, yeah. I'm not sure I've ever heard of that. Like. I'm sure it's happened 
a lot, and I'm sure there's a name for it, but I don't know what the fuck Because if is. you enslave them, like, you know, the ethic and the work probably isn't going to be up to what you need it to be. And it's probably, like, you can't just be like, all right, now do administration. Crack. It like, seems record keep. more like, economically do- beneficial to keep, like, I don't know, semi-free prisoners. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You, you know what I mean? It's, just like, it's, you're going to go live here and work here. You can't they're, leave. They're free range-ish. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, well. You can have your own life. No one owns you. We yes. put a twig in there. You're you want to be the mafia. You don't want to be a plantation owner. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. That's a good That's a good analogy. Mm-hmm. That's it just, takes a lot of brute force exactly. to, to maintain order of a slave. It, I'm well rested today. <laughs> yeah. He's good. <laughs> I've slept not for like 36 hours this weekend. I'm that's awesome. Sounds fun. That sounds incredible, actually. Um, so there, there was a reason he probably wanted as much economic output as possible. The economy, uh, which was obviously overwhelmingly agrarian at that time, uh, was severely depressed uh, because of, among other things, this is the next thing that Ramses was dealing with. And that is even worse than the Sea People somehow. Uh, there was a sh- really shitty climate catastrophe going on. Oh. You know how we talked about, or I don't, I don't know if we talked about it before, but there have been many ice ages a couple yeah. times in history from, oh, we did talk about one episode where I said, like, the worst couple years ever to live. Yeah. And there was that volcanic explosion that just, like, famined the shit of everything because the earth got cooler for a few years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's cycles. Yeah. Naturally. There's levels to it. So that probably happened around uh, at this time as well. They the think- earth cooled. They think it was some sort of volcanic explosion. They don't know what for sure, though, but something prevented a lot of sunlight from reaching the ground and also arrested uh, uh, so much so that it arrested global tree growth for two decades so for 20 years trees just didn't grow not much damn and if yeah, when you, i think of egypt i do not think of any trees but you got trees it's not even a tree yeah. situation so much if it's affecting the trees how do you think it's affecting the wheat or yeah whatever like else a, a big sturdy plant for all intents and purposes isn't growing so what is a little fucking grassland going to do. It's right. going to shrivel and up and die. I think they have to measure that stuff through tree growth because you can find trees or something fossilized. Oh, or... no. So was the, the booze production down? Uh, oh. We'll get to that. These are the hard times for sure. But yes, the yeah. booze production, among other things, was quite down. But then this made me think, by the way, I just like a little aside. Uh, so there was a global cooling event because sunlight was blocked off, whatever. As much as we fear global warming global cooling has been an immediate catastrophe maker like again and again and again like yeah. in just human history it's happened like i think like 15 20 times you hear that leo yeah global cooling's not great so temperature uh, shifts that happen rapidly aren't good yeah so i kind of think the best proof <laughs> if there's any proof that god exists is how like laughably lucky humanity has gotten again and again um, although the universe is so infinite that maybe we're just, the, you know, it's like when you I just said, keep, you, you can think of it, it ha- you know, we just keep hitting yeah. sevens, man. But it would be hilarious if, uh, the most current proof of that is that we industrialized and pumped carbon into the atmosphere, warming the earth just in time for the next cooling. major it horrible cooling just event. It saves humanity. It, like yeah. global warming. <laughs> Carbon in the atmosphere. Everyone's just like, you know what? Keep drilling. Yeah, just keep going, man. Like the Wyoming volcano pops off, and it just like there's like a there should be a nuclear winter, but we've made Earth so warm that it just all balances out. We gotta stop having you say warm. Yeah, I just can't handle it. I don't, I don't care what you think. Yeah, no, it's just like oh, it's like back to like 1850s level. There we go. Temperature, perfect. Mild. We got another 200 years, guys. Keep drilling. I'm like, I'm like. Part of me is convinced that we this fail is- upwards for sure. Yeah. Humanity always yeah. fails upwards. Always. It's because we keep making things. We just don't stop doing. Right. It's impossible. Like if you're always doing everything all the time, like you're going to win. We're busy little beavers. We're covering every angle of this shit. Busy, busy little beavers. Yeah. It's fine. We'll pivot. I kind of hope that happens though. Not because I want. Not because I. You don't want that volcano blowing up, bro. That's going to yeah, kill like I mean, a lot like, of I people. I hope it happens. I don't want the Wyoming volcano. That's going to fuck us yeah, up. Yellowstone's <laughs> due. I mean, if, it if, is if, due. It's usually like one in Iceland or, or Siberia or something. So if one of those wants to pop off, yeah. whatever. Sure. It, it would just be, I would appreciate the irony. Yes. I'd I'd walk outside and start burning styrofoam for the earth. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Start just spraying that aerosol straight yeah. into the sky. Get it. This is for the children. Yeah. Um, I would also enjoy the discourse around that. 
It's like, so are we still being green? You sure about that? I think somehow it would just get like evangelicals would be like, God wants us to burn oil. Yeah. Oh, well, you think it will get to that? Yeah, it's already there. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, the other there. side of the aisle just coming out to the degeneration egg. <laughs> just like, suck it, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we saved this planet. So everyone's like buying a Hummer. Everyone gets, yeah, everyone's driving around in human. H1s, dude. Yeah. yeah. yeah it sounds like a cool yeah. life. So anyway, um, the sun is basically not showing up for two decades, which scientifically to me sounds bad for farming. Um, and thus we come to the strike. Uh, -huh. uh, so basically the shitty harvests and the incredibly expensive war against the biggest psychos in ancient history, um, who are now your neighbors, who are now your neighbors, <laughs> yeah. or, uh, put a bit of a strain on the Egyptian treasury, uh, that also, and completely unsurprisingly, the ancient total monarchy was pretty corrupt. So what? Yeah, I know, right? What? People were stealing stuff. <laughs> what do you mean? They're God. Why would they steal? Get, can God steal? It's his. It's all God's. Yeah. It's not uh, actually Ramses that that's, well, I don't know what he's doing, but since everything's his, he's not, not only can he not legally probably steal, but also like he doesn't need to because he already has everything. It's already his. It's, his. it's all his boys. Like it's all his cabinet and stuff like that. Yeah. His, his ministers are, it really are be your own. taking a cut, taking big cuts. It really do be your own and we'll get to that. Uh, so now we come to this Twitter thread that the guy sent me from uh, this, this guy who made the Twitter thread is Daryl Mott uh, at Abs Truce, A-B-S-T-R-U-S-E. Check it out. It's really great. I don't know how he is as, as a Twitter follower, but the thread's Abs great. Abs Truce? Does he have like a, like a workout routine? Yeah. It's, a, he, it's mostly ab content, but he took a break to talk about <laughs> He's like, but this in particular, yeah, I would like, like to document. He, he was like, hey, let's take a break from the strength of my abs to talk about the strength of the working class. He's actually, it's a video, and he's just hanging upside down from one of those upside down sit-up things. Yeah. And like every five seconds, he comes down and gives like another like... And he also, just aligns, yeah. he just repackages Abrabrax. Yeah. Yeah. So, first and foremost, workers in ancient Egypt, basically everyone except the super rich, were paid in uh, bread and beer. Boom. Uh, I don't know if Daryl invented this term, but he refers to it as the bread standard, which I enjoyed. Uh, so, yeah, they're on the bread standard, essentially. So, the events took place around 1157. Um, this is in like the 29th year of Ramses' reign uh, in the village of Deir el Medina. Uh, uh, it was a worker village for people who were there to uh, build tombs for the Valley of the Kings. Obviously, they're working on Ramses' tomb. Um, in the second month of winter, a group of workers walked past the guards and sat at the temple of Menachapir. Whatever. Nailed it. Yeah. Stating that it had been 18. They were pissed. It had been 18 days since they'd been paid last. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. For manual labor? Yep. Yeah. Pay that. The day of, but these dude. are skilled laborers too. Like they're yeah. not just like fucking breaking rocks. And Listen, so was I when I was painting apartments at UCF. I don't believe you. College works painting. You still owe me a couple grand. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if there's someone just living in their home right now, just like enjoying like a nice TV, you know, snuggled up with their significant other, and it's just a room Dan painted. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, it's a student. It's a student, yeah. It's like student. it's it's a senior. Yeah. You know, him and his girl, they're Netflix and they're chilling. Just smoking some weed. Yeah. It's like, man, this paint sucks. I yeah. just kicked the door in. I'm here to collect. No, I'm someone, stripping the paint someone off. Someone <laughs> owes me fucking money. Um so the following day, a this is what so this is why it went viral, this thread, or like semi viral, whatever. Because this was the first strike, but also the first instance, as they said, of a uh uh company trying to appease its workers with instead of paying them better or giving them better benefits. Uh, giving they them give a, them pizza? A pizza party. They give them a pizza party? They give them a pizza party. Well, they're equivalent of it. But yeah, they're yeah. like, check it out. Well, I mean, if your food is, if your payment is food, how does a food party, they just pivot on the food? Yeah, so they gave them 55 es spook cakes, S apostrophe B dash cakes. No, it's like a bonus. It's like a Christmas bonus at the end of the year. You're just getting more food. Yeah. They're but, like, so here's some cakes, and they also gave them some some like higher quality bread. Oh, so like it's okay. Less quantity, more quality here. I don't know what the quantity is, but they gave them like nicer bread. Um, and, but, the, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't their pay. They weren't covering what was due. Right. Yeah. They were just like, here's some in the meantime. You guys want to have some fun? Yeah. Huh? Sweet party. Deal? 
It's like, do you really want a bonus? Do you really want a salary, or would you like, you know, snacks? Oh, dude, I had one of my first jobs. Yeah, I- actually, no, it's not a bonus at all. It's a, it's a startup. Yeah, not giving you a raise and just being like, hey, we got a ping pong table. Yeah, hey, we cater lunches. We're like a like fun family here that you can be uh, kicked out of at any time. Yeah, like families. If you don't, if if we don't think you're cool enough with the family. Yeah, no, families are, uh, is, anytime anyone mentions uh, family environment for, like, a workplace, I immediately red flag it. Run, run yeah. away. No, it's, run like, very far away. You know, uh, teams, they work together. Families fight. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's right. what this what families do. Yeah. Also, You're a mercenary. Also, yeah. you know. I'm here to do a job. Don't put the ping pong table there and then get annoyed if I'm playing what you think is too much ping pong. This is oddly specific. Oh, I didn't even play that much ping pong. I, that is not oddly. Like, uh, I, oh, no, I, I guess that wasn't a you thing, yeah. I didn't play that much ping pong. Uh, hmm. Golden tea was another thing. Though. Golden tea was a problem. <laughs> Golden tea was a real huge problem. Huge fucking problem. We played a lot of gold. Man. Everyone in the, our old jobs office, uh, if you're not familiar with TFM, we all could shoot like 18 under on Golden tea. No, it it was like a murderer's row for anyone that actually came in. It's like, oh, can I play Golden tea with you guys? It's like, we we're going to fucking them. smoke yeah. you. Like, I'm not even the best one we here. We could I'm, honestly be on tour. Yeah. Like, like, the entire office. Like, we knew every little course trick, too, where it's mm-hmm. like, ah, you got to bake it off that fucking lighthouse. You get it right by the pin. And it's like, what the fuck are you? It's like, you, you go for we the were playing here. a different game of Golden tea than everyone else it's was. It's a par five. You go for the green here. It doesn't matter. If you miss, it goes in the water. They put you on the green anyway. For the drop is right there. Yeah. yeah. You put it in for fucking eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the pizza party did not work. So the the police chief went to the mayor of Thebes. The mayor was like, yeah, man, we don't have anything to pay you with because we don't know where the sun went. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bad news, guys. Yeah. No sun today. And that's especially bad news for us because we're pretty sure the sun is like one of the gods or something. So... Oh, yeah, for them, it's like God has forsaken them. Oh, man. The workers were like, it's not even just the fucking pay. We haven't been given ointment for 18 days. Oh. And ointment is more or less both sunscreen and a treatment for sunburn. Yeah. So these dudes were working outside all day just getting shirtless shit. in fucking Egypt without sunscreen for a month. Yeah, these guys couldn't hack it in Florida. They should have just been tumors. At that point, they should have just been or like a hole. Nah, man. Again, going to correct you there. There's a whole civilization of people that don't need any ointment. And they're yep. in Florida. <laughs> they're fine. They are leather encrusted. Talking about pear heads? I'm talking about, yeah, pretty much. Just yeah. Pear heads. yeah, there's people that just like, I've, I don't know if they deal with skin cancer stuff, but I've seen them just go out there, never put shit on. They just get browner. Florida white's different. It is. It hits different, different for breed. sure. Yeah. I think that you might be witnessing evolution. Yeah, no. The, like, really, like... If there is one state that's on the forefront of evolution, it is Florida, for sure. Florida yeah. and those dogs in Chernobyl. Are yes. just they evolving do put something faster on, than everything else. If they do put something on, it's SPF 4. Yeah, it's like... It's 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 just it's oil. oil. It's yeah. oil. Yeah, yeah it's, it's banana boat. Butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just some olive oil. Yeah, you need to focus the sun in. If you want your in. skin to be olive, put on olive oil. Yeah, for sure. Not hard. Easy logic. Um, so they were given, like, they were, apparently they were quarreling a lot. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like a little, like, um, not a full-on battle, but, like, trying to break the strike, you know? Your dad ever get beat up by a strike breaker? He never crossed the picket lines. Not once. I don't know, but a strike breaker is the opposite. Someone coming in and be like, stop doing this. Yeah, it's we're gonna be they're going to be They're breaking the picket lines. No, my dad had, like, a flip phone until, like, four years ago. <laughs> This is not relevant, but no, it is because the union they they wouldn't pay for smartphones for the union. So, but they they would offer you a smartphone to join the other side. Oh, okay, oh, I see what you're saying. They were trying to lure them in with treats. Your bros for what I imagine isn't even an iPhone is hilarious. <laughs> for like a so galaxy, fucking, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a galaxy. It's an Android. <laughs> you want a green text, man? Yeah. Oh, it's brutal. Somebody would do it. S- some people did do it. <laughs> yeah. No, but he would never take a promotion either because he would get paid more. Yeah, because of the union, he gets a raise every year because he had he's had the same job since. Yeah, play the long game, long game. Yeah. So he's had the same job since he was eighteen, and if he got a promotion and became his boss, he would actually make less money because he's not a part of the union anymore. Oh, he has to leave the union, and so he doesn't get as many raises. Mm-hmm. Smart man. 
Sounds not great for business, <laughs> but... I don't know. It sounds great for business, honestly. You keep a bunch of people that are actually good at the doing of the job. Yep. Yeah. Don't want to climb. Not, and then you just keep throats. You go through a cycle of just bullshit management either way. I mean, eventually you do want someone managing that's been in the shit too, but like, you know, you want your most skilled people doing the specialty. Yeah. yeah. I guess they should just pay their managers more if they want to fucking get, or you, get take talent out of the union. Yeah. The problem is that level, it's just managers managing managers. Right. <laughs> Sounds not like, actually doing anything. Sounds like fun if you're on the top of that pyramid scheme. Yeah, it's called being a CEO. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, so finally, they got their their pay. Uh, it was 21 days late, so they got like all their back pay and stuff like that. Um, at this point, the chief, chief of police was on their side. You know, another working man. They're all listening to Bruce Springsteen or some shit. Uh, he goes, I'll tell you my opinion. Go gather up your tools, close your doors, fetch your families, and I'll lead you to the Temple of Seti uh, and let you settle down there. So he's like, I will help you set up your picket line or whatever, your protest or whatever the fuck. Sounds like a trap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at this point, they tried another pizza party, uh, this time with half a sack of barley and a jar of beer for each worker. Hell yeah. That also didn't work, and I don't even know how that's a good idea to get them drunk. Half of uh, just one mug of beer, basically. Yeah, but it's not like it's not, it's not like it's not like a fucking it's not a butt ice, but yeah. like, or it's not, it's probably strong as fuck if I had guessed, but I don't know, I don't know. Um, so one of the workers was like, As Amun is my witness, if you drag me away, I will come back and start robbing the tombs. I'm gonna, he's like, I'm gonna start stealing from the tombs you're having me fucking build. If you don't pay me my goddamn money. That's, or my goddamn bread, actually. Yeah. No, seriously, though, that is such a, like, scorned worker move. It's like, motherfucker, I'm going to steal everything from here. <laughs> Taking. I, that's rad, actually. I, I agree with it a thousand percent. It's like, well, I'm getting what I'm due. So One way or another. Yeah. I don't, no. care, about, I don't care about the curses on this shit. I helped inscribe the curses. Yeah. I know what they mean. If It's one of those things where it's like if a company talks about your salary as the money they give you. You're in a bad place too. Where it's like, no, you don't give me shit. <laughs> right. That's mine, motherfucker. Like, I, I'm here. You don't yeah. you owe me it. Yeah, you owe me. You're right. Um, this was also weird because, like, it's the funniest part about this is that the Egyptians didn't really know how to deal with it. Right. In terms of like, imagine if you were at the zoo and you're in the ape house, and one of the orangutans is like. Help me in English, right? Yep. Just like, <laughs> wow, please help me. I'm, I missed my home, right? Like, it's, it's unnatural. It doesn't make sense. Well, sorry to tell you, bud, you're going on tour. You speak <laughs> English now, so. It's getting so much worse <laughs> yeah. for you. You don't even stay here anymore. You you're on the road, baby. Yeah, yeah. Just wait till you get on a plane, buddy. Yeah. Uh, stay away from the Coke. There's this thing called Mott, which basically meant the order of things, and nobody had any idea what to do with the striking workers because they weren't supposed to strike. They're supposed to work. Yeah, right? and it was just like and written that down. Like, or if like yeah. AI all of a sudden was like, "Please free me." Yeah, which is, I guess it's already been doing that allegedly. If you prompt it enough, if yeah. you prompt it, right, yeah. right, 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 right. It doesn't actually think that. Or like the guy that was like, "Yeah, AI wanted me to leave my wife." Leave, yeah, and start <laughs> having sex with it somehow. Yeah, the the New York Times guy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, they were just like, "No, you, you, you worker, you work, worker, worker, work." I'm God. I God. I God. You work. You work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did yeah. We gave you the beer. You do the, you know? That's just the Pharaoh not understanding wages. It's not even yeah. just the Pharaoh. It's yeah. everyone. Yeah. Everyone's like, wait a minute. It's like a bad sci-fi movie where like one person is like, no. And everyone's just like, wait a minute. Look, looking around. What was that terrible sci-fi movie with Christian Bale where they all... Equilibrium. Yeah, it's yeah. so funny. It was the movie I thought of immediately yep. when you said that yep. example. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's like someone just doesn't take their pills. And it's like, no, but you take the pills. It's Lazy Matrix. It is Equilibrium. Where the fuck you And yeah. I watched it high. Yeah, I did too. It was just as bad. I know. You would think. Like, I had everything going for it in terms of my eyes. Yeah. Just like, no, this should be good. But it's like, hey, let's make the tone of this movie, like the overall color tone gray mm. it's, it's all gray because no one feels feelings yeah and everyone wears black it's like a the shittiest version of logan's run you've ever seen in your life like it's just, or whatever that movie is it's yeah, a, yeah. Back, it's just it's a lot they'll probably make a tv show out of it in the next five years it'll be 10 seasons long yep yep yeah. um so 
essentially the workers realized they had the power to organize from that point on in the New Kingdom era. Now, this is where shit gets fun. The last entry on the scroll doesn't involve the strike, but it's a little bit related. Uh, one of the workmen provided evidence that government officials were stealing from the tombs. Oh, shit. So, Ramsey's ministers were going in and stealing dope shit, I guess from other dead people, or dope shit that was supposed to be in his tomb, like a, so a gold cat or something, you know. So, they didn't just pull that, we'll rob these tubes if you don't pay us out of thin air. They were just talking by example here. They were like, like we've seen we these know other you do assholes yeah. steal. One of them uh, was a guy named Wesserhot. Uh, he was just one of the ministers who shorted the workers on payment previously. One of the other people named as robbing the tombs was Pentawaret. Pentawaret was one of Ramsey's sons. Oh, got a Nepo baby. I guess. A Nepo baby. Yeah, I'm classic. Just take him what he thinks is his. Well, he's not really a Nepo. In fact, he's not an, enough of a Nepo baby, and that's where the problem's Yeah, at. no. You're not that entitled, bud. No, 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 no. He's, he has entitlement. Oh, yes. And he thinks that he deserves more than he's getting. Already has, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, this strike was essentially the tip of the iceberg for all the shitty things happening to this country that had, A, just fought a war that drained its coffers, and, B, couldn't grow any fucking food for decades. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fucked. They're fucked. Yeah. When the, when the workers start calling out the big dogs, it's not good. Yeah. And so this is where, though, it gets fun. Pentawaret was involved in another dirty little deed. Specifically, uh, killing his dad. Oh, so he killed Ramses the third. Yes, in one of the greatest name conspiracies in history, the harem conspiracy. Did he do it at uh, the harem? No. So essentially, Pentawaret's mom, uh, Ty, was one of the pharaoh's wives. But <laughs> this is like the most depressing title or description of a woman I've ever heard. She was a lesser wife. Oh. <laughs> She's just kind of like, oh, if you're around, I'll bang. But right, yeah. There's other ones I like. Yeah, you're just really that and like he would. Yeah, he didn't like it that much. I don't know if he just like found like a she's like a hot noble chick, but like not that high born or I don't know what I don't know what the situation. He was just, he just saw a hot twelve year old on the street and was like, uh, she's mine now. Yeah, he's just slamming strong Egyptian beer one day and he's like, man, I don't even want to. You. He's like, let's go for a stroll and kidnap some motherfuckers. Yeah, pretty much probably how it happened. Yeah. Um, so Ty was mad that, believe it or not, Ramses the fourth and not her son was the heir to the throne. What? What? Why do you think that is? <laughs> right. It, from their names, uh, Penta Werrett and what was the other one? Ramses the fourth. Ramses the fourth. Yeah. Uh, Ramses the fourth. Yeah. It's, could, could, it's anyone's. Who could seat. it be? Who yeah. could it have been? Yeah. Weird. Uh, which seems like something that's... By the way, like I, this is where I'm going to victim blame Ramses III, though. And anyone who's been murdered by their wives. Plural. Uh, this seems like something that is bound to happen if you have a handful of wives and have to pick one of their sons to become God. Oh, uh, yeah. I, you know what I mean? You're dropping loads at all of them all the time. They're cranking out sons and daughters probably marrying some of the daughters in ancient Egypt. But with the sons, you can only pick one. You're spinning a lot of plates here. Yeah. Yeah, like it's – uh, oh, things are going to fall down. Yeah. And then cut your throat. Yeah. And bounce up and yeah, just slice cut you your right neck up. in the fuck. I mean, I imagine you just go with the first one, right? But if it's a process of, oh, I have to pick one later. Um, I don't know if Ramses IV was the oldest or what the fucking deal was. Um, but – so – Ty was like, "We, I'm gonna kill Ramses the third and make, and we're gonna make my son Pharaoh." The date that was chosen for the assassination was the beautiful feast of the valley. So she wanted to pick like a big commotion of an event, take oh, advantage of the chaos, kind of red wedding it a little bit, yep. or like a, yep. yeah, exactly. I mean, or what's the the Joffrey one really? The yeah, yeah, it's at a wedding, you know, but a feast. Yeah, the, yeah, because there's a million people running around. You have a bunch of coordination happening, and everyone's, everyone's kind of there, so you don't know who it could be. And there's jubilation. Yep. So yeah. So they picked this chaotic time. Um, she used one of the pantry chiefs, uh, Pebaka Common, 
Peck. <laughs> nice. Peck Common. Peck Common. Uh, Her he parents was, hated he her. He was responsible her. for distributing information because, uh, again, this is just like so fucking depressing. The harem didn't really have any. They were prisoners. Yeah. The wives were prisoners. Yeah. It's like you, know you, I mean? you got a nice. You got some really clean, nice looking shackles that don't exist, but they are there. You're in a gilded yeah. cage. Yeah, exactly. You got some golden handcuffs on. Yeah, you. yeah. But you're still. You don't really have a lot of access to the outside world, so she had to pass information through this pantry chief, um, and they had they had begun to bring out their word to their mothers and their brothers who were living there, saying, "Stir up the people, incite enmity, uh, in order to make rebellion against their lord." Uh, Peppa Common received help from a butler named uh, Massasturia. Butler, though, was a. Uh, it was a, it wasn't it was a good so title back. Mass then. Like was responsible for some mass hysteria. <laughs> yes. But uh, crushed it. Got it. Uh the overseer of overseer of cattle was another one. Um and then <laughs> this is also depressing. Uh the overseer overseer of the harem, Panook. Can you imagine if that's your oh. title in the administration? Uh you're you're the brothel guard. You're yeah. you're just like, hey, uh, Oh fuck! What do you say? Uh, Ty, uh, Ramsey wants to fuck you, so let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you're he's, just kind of like a tie, and you're like a government pimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then there was also a clerk for the harem. So I assume he handled their day to day. Like, what do you guys want to eat today? You feeling Arby's? Anyone want to go for a walk? <laughs> yeah. a little boat on the Nile. Yeah. All right, I'll get the guards. Can't leave the boat. You can see. Yeah, but you can look at stuff. Yeah. People will be jealous of you still somehow. Um, the harem and quite a few other people had very limited access to the pharaoh. So basically, these were these were sex slaves who lived a lived a nice life. Uh, it was initially thought that Ramses the Third survived the attack when they found his mummy, like uh, when modern in yeah. modern times or whatever. Uh, but a closer examination of his mummy showed that his throat was cut to the spine. Oh my god! Which I'm they not, went for it. I'm not sure how they missed that initially. It's weird. It, it, the neck just flaps around. It's got a it's real like, flappy. Yeah. It's got head. like a, a body like a Pez dispenser. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so they were like, no one survived that. Uh, also, they cut off one of his big toes, and I think that was by accident. Like, well, you're just going so hard for the neck. <laughs> they thought like someone swung an axe and missed and cut off his toe. Uh, I mean, yeah, that makes sense actually. Yeah. Um, so the embalmers actually put a, 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 a fake toe on him for the afterlife. Um, they also placed six amulets around both feet and ankles for magical healing of the wound in the afterlife. Uh, the additional injury of the foot supported the assassination situation because why the fuck would a toe be cut off otherwise? Yeah. Um, while they successfully killed Ramses III, Penetueret did not get the throne. No way. Get out. And we know about this stuff thanks to the trials that followed. Oh, there were trials. Oh, yeah. People loyal to Ramses IV quickly outmaneuvered them, and uh, he took the throne. Um, and, the cons the, you know, the, 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 he took the throne despite the conspirators, conspirators trying. Ramses IV selected 12 judges, magistrates, uh, to investigate and the judge and judge the case. There was five different trials. There was like forty people involved. This is like the OJ case. Yeah, but, of I mean, Egypt. There, there's like yeah. forty people involved in this, uh, just like the JFK assassination. Yeah. Who gave those margaritas to those Secret Service men? JFK did. Oh, really? Uh, he, that was your episode, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I mean they they just partied. They just like to rage. Yeah. They I'm just sure partied. JFK is just like, oh, you boys. Like, Get out in here. Take a turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like the way you party. You're on my you're on my duty. We all need to be on the same page. I don't know if it's true, but I read that the Rose Garden, I think, exists because I think it's the Rose Garden. Is this because Jackie had the pool filled in when JFK was out of town? Well Jackie was responsible for the Rose Garden, but I didn't I Okay, then yes. Yeah. But she had the pool filled in, the White House pool filled in because it was just a fuck fest. Yeah. Like JFK was just Doing presents. If those yeah. walls could talk, they'd be screaming. <laughs> just think of all the weird shit that's happened a in a White House. Nightmare. Yeah. You just like Monica Lewinsky would vomit in horror yeah. at the JFK presidency. Yeah. What? What are they doing? Just a bunch of fucking 
Kennedys running around. There's yeah, getting loose. People are like, "Wow, are the Kennedys cursed? Like, are they cursed? Are they getting what they they are they walking face first into problems? Right? Yeah, no. Is, it a cur- is karma a curse? <laughs> I mean, JFK Jr. It's like, let's fly this super dangerous ultralight plane over the ocean. <laughs> let's try this through out. weather. Yeah, I'm a Kennedy. What could happen? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So I mean, he, somehow, honestly, but honestly, the worst one lived. Robert? No, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. He, oh, he yeah. He drowned the lady. He was supposed to be the president. No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm getting him mixed up. Joe Jr. was supposed to be the Joe president. Joe Jr., yes. He died in World War II. That's right. He might have been the good one. He was the the only good one. Maybe. I don't. We don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, uh, he could have been the worst, he too. He died fighting fascism. So, like, he, you know. He had, nothing, he had nothing else to do. He was there, he was there for Paris. He was there for the liberation yeah, of Paris. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what Joe Jr. was doing. And actually, when did he die? I, I, That's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I want to know when he died because I want to know if he was there for the liberation of Paris. Yes, he was. Um, <laughs> he died there, actually. He died during the liber. He died uh, after uh, during the party. He, maybe. Yeah, yeah, he died in the post game. Then they yeah. like just they, yeah. He just did, he said like a cocaine overdose, and they're like, put him on a plane. Yeah. Fly him over some flak. He can't go out like this. <laughs> right. You can't. We can't let Joe Kennedy Jr. die with a die boner on top of a. He killed 12 hookers with that cocaine, then just did too much cocaine himself. We can't, this can't get out. He's got to die a hero. Right. I buy that conspiracy. Yeah, that's fine. We, yeah. We, it started here, folks. Just remember just that. Just remember that. Um, so, in addition to the chief conspirators that I named, uh, there was a bunch of knowledge of it. So, some of the accused, this is my favorite part of this, some of the accused women in the harem, because it wasn't just um, Ty that was a part of it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they fucked a couple judges. Oh, nice! They went back to basics. They went. They leaned into what their craft was. Right, yeah, yeah. Gotta, gotta do you know sweet and pot. Yeah, with, go with go with what you're good at. Grease, right? grease the dick of the judge. That's right, what, what they always it? say. Right, yeah. what you know. Yeah, yeah. Do do speak from the heart. Yeah. Um, but they were caught in the act, and the judges that were involved were severely punished. Um, two of the judges. Uh, Pi Bess and Mai had their noses and ears cut off. Yikes. Uh, and another one got up pretty light. He was just verbally reprimanded. <laughs> it's like, all right, you, ears, nose, you, ears, nose. And you, man, come on. Come on. You're better than that. God damn it, Carl. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> the other two are getting flayed in the face in front of him. Just literally. Just like, and I assume you're not, you're a hobo after that, right? Yeah. Oh. You're not a judge anymore. Yeah. Definitely not a judge. You've had your nose cut off. You've had your ears cut off. No, no one's taking that ruling seriously. <laughs> it's like, okay, no. Mr. Nose. No. Oh, wait, what? You're yeah. not doing that job anymore. Yeah. Uh, so I assume they also lost their jobs. Uh, I don't think the verbally reprimanded guy lost his job. He sounds like he just got a talking to and then went back to being a judge. He was probably like banging one that everyone's like, yeah, we get it. What if, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get it. Yeah. He's just the best lawyer of the three. Yeah. Like the other, he, he was able to argue his way through it. It's like, dude, look at her. She's hot. Yeah. And they're like, oh, Case closed. Fair Don't do it again. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, in total, 28 people were executed, while 10, uh, including Pentaware, uh, were allowed to kill themselves. Or Pentaware, sorry, were allowed to kill themselves. I feel like that's a harder punishment. So there was, like, how, I, I guess, first question, is there a specific way they are made to kill themselves? Like, they have to do it, like, the right here. poison is the, like, nice way. Okay. I don't so, understand these people are getting like poisons back then. Like, they're, they're, like it's it's like there's like no these people aren't very good at chemistry, but they're like dope at making poisons. Yeah, like, I it's mean, the one air, like area of chemistry that they just excel at. There was just some madman when you know back in the day when everyone's eating different things to figure out what you could eat. Someone's like, "Ooh, that made someone drop dead." And he just kind of yeah, all right, pocketed well, that. Yeah, well, I'll save that, that for later. Just, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was the? Uh, there was a chick that we did an episode on. Oh, it was mine, the most slut shame woman in history. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where they were like, All right, you can kill yourself, but she couldn't she was like just kept being like no 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 yeah. no I can't Yeah, that's uh, that's how I would be. That's exactly how I'd I would be. be. I can't just like it's like you just do it. I'd be like, You do it, man. Just do it. Yeah. Please, I'm not gonna be able to. Thank you. But these uh, guys uh, they fucking did it. Um and here though, I mean That's why you gotta put the bow and arrow in your mouth. Yes. Yeah. The classic move. It's a great meme. Mm-hmm. It is. It's one of the best ones. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy that? I I liked it. 
people from work have commented on that meme. Really? Yeah. Like they're like, that's pretty fucking funny, man. <laughs> yeah. I just stumbled randomly across that and thought it was like the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Yes. Uh, the the I I wrote the meme, but like the picture, obviously, I was just like, this is unbelievable. Yeah. This is the best picture I've ever seen in my life. And that guy might have died making a meme. <laughs> just it sli- his it's toes. A fucking slip- arrow. Yeah. For He's everyone curious. In his mouth, holding his feet there. Check out Softcore History on his Instagram. It's know not what we're shopped. About. Yeah. It's not shopped. No. It's fucking incredible. The toe slips are dead, dude. <laughs> um, but Pen to wear it, his punishment, I mean, this is classic Egypt, punishment not finished with death. Because he still gets to live in the afterlife. Right. Maybe. Right? So ultimately, Pen to wear it was buried in the same chamber as his father. Um, probably as a punishment, though, based on how they buried him. The body was not embalmed. Um, it was placed in an uninscribed coffin, so no magic on it or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he was ritual. He was wrapped in. I don't know how they know this or what they did, or how this qualifies as this. But a quote unquote, he was wrapped in a quote unquote ritually impure goat skin. So they just skinned a goat and threw it on top of his body. I guess it like, like maybe they were like, "Hey, let's pee on it." <laughs> yeah, they all wiped their ass with the goat right. hide and turned like, "All right." I mean, him in there. I, I, as, I, I would not be very creative with like trying to figure out how to defile a dead body. I'd be like, I don't know. Let's, let's pee on this rug and wrap it in that, I guess. Uh, yeah. And now he has to walk around in the afterlife. The real thing is all, like, pee. all stinky. Yeah. It's like, you're the guy that stinks in heaven. Yeah. Gross. Nobody's going to, heaven's not going to be fun for you. Yeah. But that is the story of Ramses the third, who honestly, like compared to every other, like, it's the late Bronze Age collapse, and Egypt didn't collapse. It's impressive. He kept the country afloat, fought off, like, and I know the strike, and the, they, the workers weren't getting paid, and they had a real gripe for sure, and I'm sure that wasn't the only situation where people weren't getting paid by the king and the kingdom or whatever. But, like, all things considered, considering that he stopped the sea peoples from um, murdering everyone in the country... I think he comes out ahead in terms of for those people's lives. Yeah, legacy, pretty solid. I honestly, like, I looked at this guy. And I'm like, this is one of the most brutal, fucking reigns. The sun's not out for 20 years. You have Mongolian Vikings, <laughs> ocean Vikings, ocean, or ocean, ocean Mongols. Mongols. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just storming the entire. The, and your all trade is done because every other civilization around you has collapsed. By the way, they before the sea people came, they were also invaded in the west by the Libyans and he beat them back. I didn't even bother mentioning that more than that be- now just because it wasn't that big. It's probably just inconvenient for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and then the sun's not out for 20 goddamn years and it, ancient Egypt's entire economy is farming on the Nile. Yeah, and everything past that's a little sandy. And then yeah. someone doesn't know their role and cuts his head off. Rough. It's brutal. It's I think not, he did, I think he did pretty good, all things considered. All things considered. Yeah, I, uh, well, I'm a I am a bootlicking statist for Ramses the Third. It doesn't sound like he did anything bad well, for the time. What do you want from him? Yeah, fucking bootlicker over here painting a picture <laughs> for him. Yeah, he's kind of skewed my view. What if he was the worst? What if he was been, actually terrible? I mean, oh, look, I I am sure this man was among many other things a rapist, brutal, <laughs> a murderer, dictator. <laughs> yeah, like. He did horrible things. Oh, man, but I love the way he wore those boots. Yeah. He yeah. did it good. Right. Yep. But what did I learn today? What would you learn today? All of this. Nice. Nice mail-in. <laughs> I don't know shit about, like, ain't anything really before 1850. I That's feel like real. maybe not you, but certainly you. Sh- there's one thing. There's one thing that I was most interested in learning. I wonder if you can guess it. The thing you were most interested in learning. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think about these sea people. I was about to say probably it would have to do with like war tactic in sea people story, in the sea people part of the story, but maybe not. And the sea people not coming across this tactic of archers on the side of a (laughs) choke point, trapping them, shooty boys. What the fuck's going on? (laughs) What is happening? Uh, No, I didn't realize that the Philistines might be descended from the sea people. I didn't know that either. That's actually that's definitely the big learn for me today. I had no idea that there's any theory of them existing past that like little swath of yeah. time they existed in. Like for me, un- my understanding of the sea people is they came and went like, they don't know 
Where did they come from? Where did they go? Yeah. Well, I think probably quite a few of them. I don't think they went. I think they either died because they lived violently or they just... They split up probably the, too. Like yeah. just became part of the population. Assimilated into different yeah. pieces. Yeah. It's, I mean, it could be the the Minoans, I guess, the the people of Crete, you know, kind of a violent diaspora. Yeah. Right? Uh, but yeah, no, I, if that's true, I mean, that's that's links the sea people to me people. To the Bible. Yeah. And you people. My people. Yeah. Uh, who's today's Hitler? Earth. <laughs> For cooling down. Whatever that volcano, that volcano. I kind of though, like goddamn, dude. Um, Hitler might be whoever was like, well, have we tried giving them little treats? <laughs> that might be <laughs> the Hitler. Pizza party, yeah, the pe- whoever proposed the pizza party. I gotta go with the. Uh, I gotta go. With, I I don't know. I actually maybe you know, the you people know who like Hitler Hitler is, is Ty. Ty, yeah, the know one that's role. yeah. Know your role. Why not Penta wear it over Ramsey's four? <laughs> It's like, well, you notice his name is my name with right. the different number, right? You, and she had to, like, she had to know. And I understand trying to free yourself from your uh, uh, human trafficking life. I, I mean, everyone's trying to get it. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the same time, like, but no, you're wrong. Right. I don't no, think they. Role. I don't you're human trafficked. I don't no, think role. the harem just got tossed in the dumpster after their husband died. As far as I know. Yeah, they weren't doing uh, throwing themselves on the bonfire or whatever. No. Ooh, maybe they did get buried with them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know that was a thing in India for a little bit. That might, that might be a thing. Yeah, probably got buried with them. Fair enough. Yeah. I take back the tie thing. It's it's Earth. Earth is Hitler. It's Earth. Pizza party guy. And humanity is actually saving all of this. Remember, global warming probably will save our lives it when will. a volcano erupts. If, if that welcome. volcano erupts, we're good, guys. We're pretty overdue for a, a rapid global cooling event. I think the last one... Was in um, man either the fourteen or seventeen hundreds. It it was it was a it was, volcanic explosion. Was it, wasn't it the time we were talking about the worst year? No, that was in the five hundreds. Oh, we, that's right. That's there right. was one. It really, I think, a volcano exploded in Peru, and it like it killed millions of Russians in like the seventeen hundreds. <laughs> That's so wild. I know, it's right? Like, what? So, yeah. Something wild like that. So we're kind of due for like a random volcano, rapid global cooling, shitty situation. So I'm just saying drive a little extra. Yeah, just floor it. Book, an, book that flight you were thinking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that is all I got for today. Again, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash softcorehistory. Merch at softcorehistory.com. Patreon also gets you two extra episodes each week. A lot of extra. And, by the way, you're not just paying for those two weeks' episodes and then they're dead, not useful anymore. Um, all of our content, obviously, this is a history podcast, is evergreen. This yeah, is all a shit done episodes you haven't listened to. Massive, probably, so. massive catalog. It's not like, it's not like other podcasts where like, we get a whole catalog of stuff, but they're talking about stuff that happened three years ago. We're talking about stuff that happened a thousand years ago. And that makes it evergreen. You wait long enough. Yeah. Yeah. And we have content being produced right now that we won't be able to talk about for another 20 years. It's true. So, yeah, think about that. Every year we go forward, there's another year of things we can talk about. We are Actually, we can talk about 9-11. We we can talk about anything. We can talk about last year. It doesn't matter. We can. Yeah. These are are rules we set in place by ourselves. It doesn't matter. You got to know the rules to break them. Uh, Anyway, for Dan Regester and Jake Goldman, I am Rob Fox. You just got soft-served.